everybody, welcome to another exciting stream on Botech Gaming 14. So today we're starting up Thousand Year Door and going from there. Time to boot the console. <laughs> there we go. You have to show you guys which version I'm playing. <laughs> playing the OG version. Also, GameCube controller. <laughs> now, come on in. <coughs> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. One day, tragedy befell this blessed place, where a cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. This is that the very world had come to a violent end. A single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. The stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. When the town site no longer had relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. Word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground. A magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. The tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Court. This is where it begins in the sea town of Rogue Court. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. Thousand Year Door starts here. Finally, I've a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all this way on my holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. That's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Now, ah, where's Twink when you need him? But now that I'm doing it, all I see is the town is a very uh, distinct flavor. Oh, Mishy Mishy! Did you need me? Yes, you, Mishy. I'll save her briefly, well actually. Yeah, basically she talks to the merchant and then they, things go to crap is essentially what happens. Because <laughs> I'm like, I get, like, I have two traditions at this point of naming my files. <laughs> it's exactly long enough, that's hilarious. Yay. What's up? <laughs> Mail call! <laughs> hey bro, check it out! A letter from the prince has arrived! I'm doing pretty good, how about you? I'll just read it to you, how's that sound? Alright, so from this point on, I'm going to be doing audio testing, just because this is still a new setup.
Test. I'll go with that for now. Then you adjust it later. Yeah, because I know it's running into like me sounding way too quiet earlier. I mean, the last couple of streams. Yeah, for those who are missing contact, basically the program I've been using for two years, Twitch Studios Beta, is going defunct today. So I had to switch over to a new streaming program. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm on a holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came onto possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old virgin in a town called Rogueport. Since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure by myself, I thought you could help me be hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Each. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. Roll credits. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, it's Rogueport. That's a hit. I've got. I'm out of here. <laughs> Mario, no, you just started. Steve will arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you here. Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. Wow. Uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Conveniently falling in the water. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got cuts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a bit of advice. Hit that save block. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. What do you want, pal? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Are you funny or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, you freak! Oh, come off it, airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking to be a good girl and tell us what you know, right now. But never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps! You! Because it wouldn't be right if a sassy old lass like you've never been untimely demise. Boys, we're taking this fire brand new our fortress. As you command, Lord Trump, grommet. No, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream, really! 
out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever loving bones. You want to be a fight porpoise? Ain't nothing so fun as watching the poor blow up happen with his uh, business, leg. My right, mate. Nice, looks so like trouble over there. Probably best not getting involved, huh? You wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Right. Unless you're Mario. Like I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you, not like me. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw my plans? It's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old trump of all. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat that freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. <laughs> Sweet. You know that hurt. All I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. You gotta keep him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. You did it, you did it, you and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get a hundred, you get a level up. Don't forget that, okay? Very nice. Uh, okay, you got a couple of these in shots, and I'll give you that. Unfortunately for you, that means. It's go time! <laughs> Quick, this way! <laughs> uh, what a bunch of loons. They sneak out of here, what do you say? I am not going to say no to that. <laughs> huh? Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, you see the did anyone? Ah, uh, crap, they bolted. Oh, wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I've just gotta give you a little reward. My name's Goombella, I'm a student at the University of Boom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mar- wait, you mean like that famous guy? Well, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled in the town yourself, right? Uh, me, I already hated here. There's freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Roadport, so I should have expected, but sheesh. I've never come to a place like this and weren't some legendary treasure here. Glad you're looking for the legendary treasure too. Seriously? Whoa, Bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, is, is that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. The princess? What? Great hoogly boogly! If it isn't Master Mario! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Mm -hmm. Ho ho! Tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? Ah, indeed? Princess Peach sent you on a letter and sent you a letter and a treasure map. I told you she'd meet you here in Roadport, which we do. We're asking you where the princess is. Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario, I just assume she'd be back momentarily. At this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. And the loss is what to do. Fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe it'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. 
Yeah, I was, yeah, literally, I was going straight, and I was like testing the uh, the GameCube over the weekend because I'm also starting up Wind Waker tomorrow. <laughs> Back to highly recommend it, particularly if you find yourself on your HP running low. Just <laughs> starting off with the puns already. <laughs> Just drop on in. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I, say, I know I've been um, I've been jamming out to the remix soundtrack the last like week, and yeah, it's been really good. I'm like, yeah, I thought the soundtrack was good already. Man, that just takes it up five notches. Uh, yes, anyways, a little rest of a final you can fill your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit, uh, rough. Yes, rough indeed. Uh, Princess Pete, did he mean, like, the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? But this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it's, it's kind of like one of those, like, it's better or worse in some sections, but like it really hits where it hits. This is really intense. Well, where do you think she could have gone? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? I know, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If you start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to the princess. Great, we're good then. Let's go! <laughs> Bella, join your party. A primer. Let's actually get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Roadport Plaza, the center of town in the main business district. Crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you where we are. That's Goomfer the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled among. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints whenever she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bomb. You can also look up an enemy HP and weaknesses with her tackle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I got to town myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. He's what this is what Professor Franklin looks like. Time to pummel everyone into submission. Professor Franklin, actually, I think the guy by that name lives over to the east side. Just go east from here. If you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? This guy steals something important from you, or what? Looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. You find that jerk? Give him a wall for me. <laughs> Not me, you dimwit! <laughs> hey, by the way, have you saved yet, Mario? See that save block? Uh, since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump and hit this block to save, okay? Alright, fine. <laughs> Not the longest save time on the planet, but it's definitely longer than the original. Oh, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Can't you take a hint, pal? It means scram, don't talk to me. Oh, what are you doing, sneaking up on a person as he sings most jolly? Uh, who me, you ask about? Oh, I'm called Flavio. I'm how you say a trader, the richest man in the world, of course. And this is the Skull Stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, sparkly thing. So fabulous! I wish to give it a great big kiss as it never leaves my sight. Never. <laughs> Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Indeed! Every single time that word comes up, I just think of Malus. <laughs> Such a meme at this point. <laughs> Professor Frankly, actually, I think a guy by that name. Okay, I think I'm not talking to this guy right 
Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! So complete jerk just bought me and made me lose a contact lens! Looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch! You stepped on my poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't you stupid ears work? What were you thinking? <laughs> it's your fault not to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Hop and save me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you owe. I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. <laughs> well, that's quite the entrance. Tap walls between the Pianta soup, uh, Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best day indoors. <laughs> Naturally, we have practically no money, so uh, coming back to that later. Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins in the parlor. Do you believe that? Not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Sure, sure. <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, stinky. <laughs> Listen, it's a huge secret, but I called to tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you got to keep it, keep it a secret, okay? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Sure, sure. <laughs> Dude, you gotta believe me. Sure, sure. <laughs> Why are you so indifferent? Because I'm Mario Mario. <laughs> no, holy crap. Barn me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. <laughs> that is so lame. I hate this town. <laughs> Hey, you big old rube, I ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, live longer. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly! What's it? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes, you, uh, you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait, I'm just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get right to it! Ah, uh, it's not Gumbriel. Yeah, it's not Eliza Goom. Ah, got it! <laughs> You're the bell, aren't you? You were my archaeology class last year, am I right? Oh, yes, sir, that's me, I'm Goombella, Junior at you, Goom. Go, Goombas! Of course, I remember you not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out of my mind because you were such an exceptional student. That guy behind you is... Ooh! Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies, I'm such a book where I have a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to a great place like this? We're hoping you tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogue Port. Not if anyone knew about it, you would, Professor Frankly. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. A good point, and well made. In that case, I cooperate with you however I can. 
Here is now about the treasure. Uh, there's many mysteries surrounding this. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure board, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to define the truth among them. But all agree on one point. Find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying the super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. The stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and that thousand year door is supposedly here deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had the map. But we do have it, Professor, or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hoopity hoona 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 really? I'm <laughs> just <laughs> Channel Jared, I guess. You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You son are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful even! With this, we can find the crystal stars by holding us aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Professor! I played too much for us. <laughs> Good golly, what are we doing just sitting around the Goobel and Mario? <laughs> I know, it's like an infinite amount of references people can make. Off must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to this legendary door. Bonk. <laughs> I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh, hang on a second. Mari, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there's quite a few hoodlums below, so, uh, keep her going up. But you do know about action commands, don't you? Positively shocking. In that case, you gotta learn to take it. Take a second to learn them. We have a little practice session. Do Bella, you can be Mario's opponent. Get what? Are you nuts? Okay, I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action. That'll be with the both of you. Choose the jump command. When you choose your target, it'll appear on the details appear down below. There, right there. Just before you land on your enemy, press A again. You'll know you did it right when Nice appears. You can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack. Rubella, shake a leg. Uh, okay, here goes Mario. Hold up, right there. Press it just before your enemy strikes you. You did a guard. Guarding will take to reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Remember, the action command changes depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyways, practice the hammer. When you choose the enemy, you're going to attack. Tilt and hold left. Bonk. I was gonna say, because he's insane. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Excellent, now for a real threat, I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Freeze right there. This time, press B just before the enemy attack lands. See, you turn the foe's attack back on him. I mean, that's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you'll take no damage and damage your enemy in return. The super guards are harder to do than standard guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Uh, sorry, Professor. Professor Hoover. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice? No. <laughs> I expected nothing less. You're a quick learner. You're really a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're all set for requests. So down below we go. Come on. Well, no, I simply can't wait. Let's go to underground quickly now. 
Alright, time to jam out the sewers. <laughs> What's up? What's that hottie you got there doing with you? What's up? Why don't we hang out for a while? We play real nice. What's a fun looking gooba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it's like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it. Nobody sings like that. Nobody. Get him. Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is I fell in the middle of a spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? We'll jump on it, and you'll be the one who takes damage. The Paragoomba is airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. If you press Y to change the order, you should attack him. You can attack first if you feel like it, but Bella, don't forget that. Losers, that felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There's plenty more where they came from and they'll all have it out for us. If they attack, try to hammer on them or jump on them while on the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. If an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as you go into battle. <laughs> It <laughs> just insta kills the dude, that's funny. to kill everything. <laughs> You've got an item. You can use them to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Woo! <laughs> 
to welcome to blocking everything. Gotcha, you turd. That must mean you're the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend could hear my voice. Yeah, and everyone else, nothing. Cool. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting for a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident we can trust this uh, box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Rats. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? <laughs> Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. <laughs> I think he's trustworthy. <laughs> Should be fine. Everything will be just fine. <laughs> You brought the keys, yes. Oh man, I owe you big. Yes! Haha! Uh -huh. Thank nothing! Woohee! Fools! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What, do you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've been doing in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the freaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you! Woogly woogly woo, you're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserve! You wanna hear about the sweet curse? I just dropped it! Listen well, fools! <laughs> For now, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper airplane! Tremble, and yet suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Oh, I can't help but portal your doom! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. I suppose I ought to explain it. Ready? If you stand on the airplane panel, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and bam, you're a paper airplane! The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself! I guess you get good at it, you may fly a long way, but that's the only good thing! To be honest, isn't this curse is about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yeah, I get it, it's terrible. <laughs> Press B, you might return to normal, maybe! Farewell, you foolish fool! Whoopee! <laughs> so, uh, wow, just wow, what was that guy's beef? Not as bad as that one egg Koopa dude in the first game, like, geez Louise. <laughs> Thank goodness he doesn't return to this game, because I would have been like, I swear to everything.
Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! It's the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is. Biggest life. Come on, move closer. <laughs> Stop honking me. No. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with the weird pedestal? What could be in there, do you think? Ah, uh, hello, pit of a hundred trials. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? Magic! Location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario's learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Tree. Each time you get a Crystal Star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! What was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the Crystal Star appeared. And that shining light looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, you should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Mm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? Why, dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, well, stuff like this is better explained exa by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? It's very important. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Excellent, in that case, I'll go outside so the place is a little cramped. I don't wanna. <laughs> well, that's too bad. <laughs> Take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge is one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With you so far, when you have star power, you can use a special move by using Sweet Tree. A special move that will replenish HP and FP. Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it again. That's why the audience is watching your battles is very important. You can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario Gumbella, try to attack. Now they see that, you thrilled your audience, they filled some of your, uh, some of your gauge. Yeah. 
nice to keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people come to watch you fight. And you can see that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. Big chance to hit it big. And in action command, we have two matching icons, and icon wheels will appear if you try. Bingo! Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. Hope you memorized all this. Great Goomba's Ghost Mario, look at your audience! That guy have a hammer, he does the bomb, he needs to toss it at you. The audience members hit you with anything, you take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. That's right, sweet justice! You press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins, don't attack them. Well, that's all I got. Here ends my sh uh, Shilanti lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has Raider-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogue Forest. I tell you the truth, most thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadow did come up from time to time in my research. Can't find so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you just find it, you'll get there instantly. Pipes travels, pipe travels efficient. Say, by the way, I'm curious. Where did you get that map exactly? From Princess Peach, really? Your Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this would be her, would it? So it is her. The Princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. Princess Peach and Deep went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Star is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? Uh, no, I'll stay in town, ask around the Princess, and that's a game. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens, you need some advice from Seamy, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Wait just a moment. It's scary out there, take this with you. It's called a badge and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you've equipped, you'll get more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. <laughs> All of the badges. By the way, you need FP to use the Power Smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too, did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find the pipe to Petal Meadows.
I know it's like so many badges. Guys, yeah, it's pretty much how I played the first game, and I'm definitely playing it the a very similar way going into this one as well. Woo! Ouch, that hurt. Just up and whack someone's tootsies like that. Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. <laughs> I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. <laughs> hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. Your HP drops, you can press Y to put it in front. Because, like, what is up with these sewer, sewer boobers? That's two games in a row. <laughs> Kill it with fire. <laughs> Dead fish.
Well, here we are, the Pebble Meadows where folks see a crystal star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Whoa, what was that? He said, what Mario, look! Totally incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before! Look kinda of scary too. Weird. Professor Franklin said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy, we just started already, there's an injury. Come on, Mario, let's go. Yeah, he's just like, what the heck, man? Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Well, the main reason is I have the game already, whereas getting the remake would cost, I mean, like, that's just how kind of somewhat tight I am on money right now. It's like, that would cost money, <laughs> and I'd rather play the version I already own. As much as I really like the remake, I, I want to prioritize games that I are kind of like, I guess at this point, Switch exclusives. Well, not to mention, I thought that the game was, like, terribly expensive when I bought it, but, I mean, it was probably $100 secondhand, and that was the cheapest I could get it a couple years ago. <laughs> this is before they announced the remake, so there's really no help in that situation. Otherwise, I definitely would have waited. GameCube games trying to get some of them is stupid expensive. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, gotcha. Like, now that I wouldn't be interested someday, just I'd, like I said, I'd rather prioritize games than I don't have, like, the original score. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I know we can only get that with a certain party member. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? Might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Depends on how old he is at this point. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that she's a college age person, relatively speaking. It depends on how much time is canonically passed between games. <laughs> Another quest to get star pieces. City of Pedalburg. I know it's a village, but I don't care. It's like the city of Townville. <laughs> Welcome, travelers. Why aren't there six more of you? Why are you asking why this is Pedalburg? Sorry, but it's been a while since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Bucktail? Must have been the huge thing you saw earlier, Mario. So it's called a Bucktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest form, it's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Uh, no, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. I want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Like, really, really old. Yeah. <laughs> As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't know. Koopas his age are, uh, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should check it out. Pink house. That was totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Wow. 
Uh, remember Toad House is when you could just stay for free. <laughs> yeah, good times. Not that five coins is terribly expensive, but I mean, you know, it used to be free. Mara, stop falling in the water. There we go. Ah, you guys are back. <laughs> Top of the morning, tis I, Bob, Bob, Bob Ubler. Why am I happy as can be? Well, simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. You saw a hook tail on your way here? Are you sure? Big old dragon tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky I didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. I didn't see you. I'm sure I would have gobbled you up after a, like an after dinner mix. Must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. Never heard of it? Man, it rocked my socks off. Okay, now the professor joke's really coming clutch. <laughs> Even though said game didn't canonically come out for like a, almost a decade and a half after this game came out. <laughs> ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It's a beautiful day, no? No, not you, monsieur mustache. <laughs> yeah, we took a wrong turn. I was speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with me! You, are you kidding? You! Nice wig, you disco wannabe! Take a hike, bozo the dork! Oh, skip loo! Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue! All of our retreat for now. If you change your mind, shall we come find me? What a total sleaze! Go somewhere else! Let's go somewhere else, Mario! Fuck. I'm General White. I'm a bob bomb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. I'm just gonna go check something here right back. Hey, we're back. <laughs> the boy where Mario fell asleep.
Hey, uh, well, come on in, I guess. Door's open. Oh, look, Tail, it lives at the top of the old castle beyond this hummock. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasures hidden in that castle. Source of, or scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a single one's returned. So what do you think? You're being scared, huh? Well, someone's a little obsessed. <laughs> Bowser's gonna pummel you just by proxy. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. This foul hook tail made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Boy, the mayor's been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried the old Gipper might even forget my face one of these days. Hey, it's us, the f Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. The village is famous for its clear water, or er, yeah, clean air, and one more thing. That big bad hook tail. We can't wait to see it. Hey, Hooktail's scary, but so is the monster that lives in the fortress near town. I mean, normal attacks are completely useless against it, at least that's what I heard. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out! An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. Hey, since you're here, let me ask, how many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? All time, I mean, I heard it recently launched an old man's school two villages over. And Koops, who lives next door, his father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person, no way, that's not right, a missing Koopa ever since. Well, hello there, my name's Koopy Koo, it's nice to meet you. All that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're gonna challenge that monstrous hook tail. Only Koops are as brave as you. Uh, hi there, folks. Did you come to this village to look for the treasure of Hooktail's castle? Well, that hooktail is one tough cookie. <laughs> what? Someone? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're thieves here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. <laughs> Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What, not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you folks are looking for crystal stars. Well, why didn't you pipe up a horror? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say you're hunting. Wait, why did I hear about those tarn things again? Ah, uh, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. Well, this Hooktail's brutal fly-by snackings have all the, uh, had us on pins and needles. So are you reckless- I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? You got it. This does sound promising. Well, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll show you with, uh, shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that in here? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't. What an unselfish man! You're noble indeed. You have a good egg now. What'd you say your name was again? Murphy? <laughs> He's like, time to shave this man. Now, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. You're intent on going to Hookdale's castle. Find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it is, but at least you'll need stone keys to use the pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fort, or just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that hooktail monster. You 
you got an email. As you travel, you may receive emails from people you met on your journey. You can read these emails in your mailbox SP. If the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Uh, excuse me, Dad, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Now, pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking up how to begin. My name's uh, Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, uh, I have a favor to ask you. Well, um, oh, j just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was about? Talk about issues.
no Pock. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You come all the way here to Schwan Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, you must compete against me. We want to let you through to where the stone keys rest. If you lose, you'll suffer a terrible fate by terrible, I mean awful. So, what do you want to do? You're in for it now. Hey ladies and germs, welcome everyone to the 65th Super Fun Cork Quiz! Perk up those ears if you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! But get three of them wrong and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now for the first question, let's get into this palace! Ah, uh, it's correct. 
That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Which of these creatures has hands? No! Ah, uh, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win! So, uh, I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, uh, stupid rules. Again, summon the sheep. Another classic, what a tease moment.
Time to kill all the fuzzies. More bad points. I mean, I will prioritize health and FP to a certain extent, but I'm like, no, I'm, for now I'm just gonna get a good chunk of bad points going. Well, plus I know the first game, it's like some of the bad just straight up increase your HP and FP, so it's like, yeah, why not at that point? Like on his name, it's like I missed the purple star already from the first game. It's like he gave us an attack power up. <laughs> more fuzzies crap <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad, now I have lunch on your head. Hey, Al, you chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet, everyone get him! No, you got me.
Excuse me. Uh, it's Mario, right? Uh, look, I um see the thing is I've been uh, waiting here in hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can uh, you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you? Oh, please take me with you to play Hooktail, please. I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my daddy went off the battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. But no, it's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started for his sake. For everyone's sake. I am embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, but weakly. But if I can beat Hooktail, if I won't be those things, I'll be strong like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but still, I want to go. Please, Mario? Sure, come along. For real? No kidding? Yeah, thank you so much. You won't regret this. And thus, Koops is kind of Ryuji in a weird way. <laughs> Press X to shoot out a shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. <laughs> Hold X, you can hold the shell in one place after shooting it. After holding the shell in place, release to fire it past or an attack. You can even hold Poop's shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. Remember, hold X to shoot, then hold it in place. Battle Koops can play with your side striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground bound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Koops. Oh, and go um, hi Koopy, Koopy, Koop, did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops, I thought I heard you say you were off to play Hooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse, he'll eat you up. I know, Koopy, Koop, but I want to be tougher for you. I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's, it's stupid, so what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo, I'm in it by the way. Don't need to worry though, have your own traveling Mario. He's the man. Fine, ignore me. Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo, I swear to you, come back to a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Oaktail's castle awaits.
Spooky Castle. Oh man, Hooktail Castle, the stories were all true. This place is terrifying.
Pete Coots is like, ah, oh, crap, at least I'm waving to the crowd. Oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's there's no doubt about it, it's my father. Dad! What, what's this? Far, my father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his bones are. So what should I do? Should I read it? Okay, I can do this. I'll read it. <laughs> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with a her and end with an ikit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I don't have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you and I'm proud of you who you become. <laughs> my son, Colorado, not Koops. So this is what happened to Colorado's father, apparently. Uh, yeah, I guess this is my father after all. But if this is my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. <laughs> Morph. You clearly don't value your lives as much as you come to this castle to disturb us. You'll go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones! Uh, what are they doing? Oh, it's no use. They're all over me. What should we do?
Okay, they're all just like, get it, PRFP! I'm like, no. <laughs> More badges. <laughs>
What the heck? Hey, guess it's been a long time since anyone came here a real long time. Uh, you heard me? Wow, wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with the whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. What do you mean? You think you'd be cursed if you open this box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? What? Uh, wait, in a box and curse, folks. A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would not do such a thing. That should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, if you don't have to, if you really don't want to, like, finding a black key is hard. Uh, Mario, look at that! No, I don't like the look at this. Come on, run!
Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Who? Okay, we got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. Hey there, boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Fools! While in the most idiotic pudding brain, don't would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's trap prevents anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw out a free curse! No charge. Oogly googly boo! Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right! This curse is more cursedly curse worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. <laughs> And this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press it. Hold R. Wee what a curse. Who curses like me? No one! Now I should show you how frightful a curse this is. Go on, press it, hold on. Just look at yourself, how embarrassing for you! Eat a sandwich, skinny! Do you understand what this curse means for you? Then farewell, you dumbbells! Wee! Well, that was a thing.
Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there's other thieves here besides me. I'm very strange. Hey, who are you? To be why this mouse, the globe's running thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there's rare and valuable badges here in this castle, that's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a run out place? Uh, well you see, we're here to be Hooktail and uh, get the, uh, the Crystal Star. So I don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? I don't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want to hear in here? Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the Crystal Star first. And I already found the badges after, so I'll let you get the Crystal Star. Uh, hey, what's that supposed to be? Means I saved my life for now, Mr. Cutie. I know it's sad. We just met in a race. It's time for us to say farewell, alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that helped me to beat a uh, hook tail or so I heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already, maybe not. If you're gonna fight hook tail, I recommend finding that badge first. Take care, handsome mustache now. Let's get together again real soon. I wonder what her story is, that it's an interesting one full of romance.
Nice voice.
Dares approach me. Hmm, so you are friends of the strange guard one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure or protect such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small and you don't appear tasty, I suppose you might make a good snack. The bottoms of your feet smell like they make a good sauce with some bits and spices. What I'll do is saute you into a crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. 